Mayborn families, it's Mrs. Sheehan. I'm going to be reading The Sweetest Fig by Chris Van Osberg to you today. Monsieur Bibeau, the dentist, was a very fussy man. He kept a small apartment as neat and clean as his office. If his dog Marcel jumped on the furniture, Bibeau was sure to teach him a lesson. Except on Bastille Day, the poor animal was never allowed to bark. One morning, Bobo met an old woman waiting at his office door. She had a toothache and begged the dentist to help. But you have no appointment, he said. The woman moaned. Bobo looked at his watch. Perhaps there was time to make a few extra francs. He took her inside and looked in her mouth. This tooth must come out, he said with a smile. When he was done, the dentist said, I will give you some pills to kill the pain. The woman was very grateful. I cannot pay you in money, but I have something much better. She took two figs from her pocket and handed them to Bobo. Figs, he said angrily. These figs are very special, the old woman said. They can make your dreams come true. She winked at him and put her finger to her lips. It was clear to Bobo that the woman was crazy. He set the figs down and took her by the arm. When she reminded him about the pills, he said, I'm sorry, only for paying customers, and shoved her out the door. That evening, Bobo took his little dog to the park. Poor Marcel loved to sniff the tree trunks and bushes, but whenever he stopped, Bobo would pull sharply on the leash. Just before going to bed, the dentist had a small snack. He sat at his dining room table and ate one of the figs the old woman had given him. It was delicious, possibly the finest, sweetest fig he'd ever had. In the morning, Bobo dragged Marcel down the stairs for the morning walk. The steep steps were hard for the short-legged dog, but Bobo wouldn't think of carrying his pet. He hated to get Marcel's white hairs on his beautiful blue suit. As he walked along the sidewalk, Bobo could not help noticing people looking at him. They are admiring my suit, he said to himself. But when Bobo saw his reflection in the window of a cafe, he stopped in horror. He was dressed only in his underwear. The dentist turned and ran into an alley. Sacre bleu, he thought. What has happened to my clothes? Then he remembered the dream he'd had last night. In his dream, he stood in front of that very cafe, dressed in his underwear. Something else had happened in his dream, and Bobo struggled to recall it. Marcel, looking out from the shadows of the alley, began to bark. The dentist looked up and saw the rest of his dream come true. No one noticed Bobo as he ran home in his underwear. All the eyes of Paris were fixed on the Eiffel Tower, which slowly drooped over as if it were made of soft rubber. Bobo understood now that the old woman with the figs had told him the truth. He would not waste a second. Over the next few weeks, as reconstruction of the Eiffel Tower began, the dentist read dozens of books on hypnotism. Each night before he went to sleep, he gazed into the mirror and whispered over and over, Bobo is the richest man on earth. Bobo is the richest man on earth. Bobo is the richest man on earth. Soon, in his dreams, that's exactly what he was. As he slept, the dentist saw himself steering his speedboat flying his aer airplane, and living in luxury on the Riviera. Night after night, it was the same. One evening, Bobo took the second fig from the cupboard. It would not last forever. Tonight, he thought, is the night. He put the ripe fruit on a dish and set it on his table. Tomorrow, he would wake up the richest man in the world. He looked down at Marcel and smiled. The little dog would not be coming along. In his dreams, Bobo had great Danes. As the dentist reached into his cupboard to take out some cheese, he heard the crash of breaking china. He turned to see Marcel standing on a chair with his front paws on the table, chewing the last of the fig. 
but Beau was furious. He chased the dog around the apartment. When Marcel ran beneath the bed, Bobo yelled at him, Tomorrow I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Then the dentist, angry and heartbroken, went to sleep. When he woke up the next morning, Bobo was confused. He was not in his bed. He was beneath it. Suddenly, a face appeared in front of him. His own face. Time for your walk, it said. Come to Marcel. A hand reached out and grabbed him. Bobo tried to yell, but all he could do was bark. I hope you liked my reading of The Sweetest Fig. On the page, we will hopefully be able to add some questions for you to think about and answer with your family members after listening to the story. Thanks very much. See you guys soon.